For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on your Wednesday, August 4th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are the stories we're following at this hour. The state of Vermont on Tuesday reported 34 new cases of COVID-19, including two new positive tests reported in Wyndham County. The state of New Hampshire on Tuesday reported one death, 169 cases of the virus, including 11 new positive tests reported in Cheshire County. The state of Massachusetts on Tuesday reported two deaths, 883 new cases of the virus with six new positive tests reported in Franklin County. Vermont education officials on Tuesday announced that masks will be recommended in all schools this fall for at least the first several weeks. It will soon be back to school time for Vermont students and education officials expect it to be fully in person. According to Vermont Education Secretary Dan French, on Tuesday, he says they anticipate the fall will be a full in-person return to the classroom with nominal, if any, mitigation strategies, if any, in our schools to require their safety. For the first few weeks of school, the state is recommending districts mandate students and teachers wear masks regardless of vaccination status. Area business owners are being surveyed about flood damage suffered last week. The Brattleboro Development Credit Corporation has put together an online survey so they may better understand the impact experienced by Wyndham Region businesses. The information will be used to understand and to communicate and to respond to the needs of Wyndham Region businesses affected by the flooding. Grace Cottage Hospital is in the middle of a major project to improve public access to the clinic. This project involves the replacement of the decades-old sidewalk and entrance ramps into the Grace Cottage Family Health Clinic, and they are replacing those with a new concrete sidewalk along Grafton Road and Route 35. Chief Officer Doug DeVello says the hospital has begun renovating several of their public restrooms to make them easier to access and more efficient to maintain. Hospitals across New Hampshire will require employees to be vaccinated against coronavirus, including at the state's largest health care system, the Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. The New Hampshire Hospital Association said on Tuesday it supports the move by its 30-member hospitals to optimize the safety of care for patients and to protect the lives of health care workers. Dartmouth-Hitchcock will require all employees throughout its health network to get the COVID-19 vaccine. The announcement comes as cases are ticking up a bit in the Granite State. WTSA Sports, Miguel Cabrera homered as the Tigers beat the Red Sox last night. That's the Red Sox' fifth straight loss. Detroit beat Boston 4-2. The teams play again tonight, first pitch at 7-10. Giancarlo Stanton homered, drove in four runs as the Yankees trounced the Tigers 13-1. The teams play again tonight, first pitch at 7.05. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television, on this Wednesday, August 4th, my name is Ian Kelly.